Today I'm going to show you how I get water from this pond down to uh, trees, plantings, whatever I need, two, three hundred feet away from the pond. No muss, no fuss, no pumps, no power. Uh, just done all with the siphon. Here's a group of fruit trees that I planted a number of years ago that I needed to water in then. That's when I set this up originally. This is the highest point of a hundred foot of three quarter inch black plastic pipe. One end of it goes into the pond with the foot valve. The other end goes downhill uh, to basically the end of that hundred foot black pipe. You open this top valve, and then you go down and you close the bottom valve so that as you pour water in, the water doesn't just come out. You want to actually fill this lower pipe. I'm just making sure that it's turned off. A siphon works by gravity, so you have to have your outflow lower than the top surface of your source. You cannot have any holes between the source and the outflow, or it won't work. You stop the outflow, and you open the upper valve in your system, and you pour water and fill the pipe from that highest point down to your outflow valve. You could just fill the pipe and drop it into the pond, but I've been using this for years and it's much easier to just leave that uh, foot valve and screen in the pond and have an uh, intake port with a valve so that you can close it off. And you see here I'm going to now fill that lower part of the pipe. Once established, this siphon will work all summer. I won't have to refill this as just a one time per year deal of getting it going unless somehow this gets opened up and allows air in there and uh, it drains the lower part of the pipe. Once the pipe is fairly full, and you don't even have to get it all the way full if, if you've got a fair amount of pipe, you need to close that top valve so that you don't let any air into the system. That will stop the siphon, and I actually do that on purpose in the winter time. I, I open this all up and let it drain. Now I'm going to open the bottom valve and let the siphon establish itself. You can see it takes... A, 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 you know, 10 seconds or so for it to actually get a good flow going. Now I'm going to connect another hose to this, which is about 100 foot long. I've got two of these plus a bunch of other hoses that I have on my tank, which I'll show you in a few minutes here. Uh, so I'm going to connect this up and establish the flow all the way through this hose, roughly 200 foot away from the pond. It's been a fairly wet spring, so I don't need to water anything today. My main goal for today is to fill a 275 gallon tank. I can move that tank anywhere on the property and water with it uh, anytime that I like. As things get drier, I can water with this siphon pretty much anywhere in this field area that is below the pond. If I need to water something above the pond or, or a distance away, I will use this tank to do so.
If I didn't have a tractor capable of picking up this uh, tank, which when full weighs over 2,000 pounds, I could use a 55 gallon drum and uh, that weighs under 500 pounds when full and you wouldn't even have to fill it, but you could transport it with a, an ATV on a trailer or something like that uh, pretty easily. Like I said, I've got oh, three, four hundred foot of hose and that hundred foot of black pipe to begin with. So I can water anything uh, within a reasonable range of the pond as long as it's lower than the pond. Just shut the lower valve when you're done.